How's it going, everyone? Welcome tonight to Gourmet Breaks. And tonight we'll be opening 2017 Tops Heritage Minor League. Before we get started, I want to give special thanks to Patreon members James Palmer and Tom Edwards, two of my heavyweight Patreon members, as well as Barry Kay, who's my middleweight champ Patreon member, and all the other Patreon members who are helping to make this possible. Hey, cool Cena, Shalani, welcome. Thank you guys for coming to the first ones to get in here. A lot of fun stuff tonight. A um, few things to talk about with some of the upcoming breaks. Um, since right now it's kind of Patreon, um, Patreon only, um, I'd, I'd like to get some feedback, uh, ways that I can make the future breaks a little more um, enticing, I think would be a good way to put it. Big guest collector, welcome. Terry, hey, uh, James. Yeah, finally. Tom, how's it going? Crazy game last night. Uh, been a little little under the weather and uh, fell asleep, and it was 0-3, uh, woke up, and it was 7-3, so, or 7-3, 7-4, whatever. They won. I, I was... Uh, I was happy. Nice way to wake up. Um, so uh, for you guys in the room right now, um, I, I've been kind of, hey, Greg, welcome. Yeah, uh, being a, a Bay Area native, uh, there's a, definitely no love lost uh, for the Dodgers. So good riddance. Unless you're a Dodgers fan, then, you know, sorry. Um, anyway. So one of the things I wanted to to talk about was um, National Treasures break. Um, I've, I've seen breaks in other channels, and I think we're all kind of familiar with the the basic format of that break. Um, thanks, big ass collector. I, I appreciate it. Um, and Terry, I, I watched the video, loved it. Thank you very much for doing that. Um, I think your your guys's help is. Pretty much going to be the only way I can, you know, get more people to be aware of what what's going on. Uh, so anyway, back to uh, to National Treasures for a second. So you guys have seen the breaks. Um, the other big channels were offering this, and it was it was about seventy seven ninety nine, um, seventy seven ninety nine for their you know eight cards in here, and so I'm offering it at sixty nine ninety nine, which I feel like is already a good deal. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure you guys can imagine that being a small channel, like I don't have the same, the same hookups and connections, you know, I don't have a distributor and all kinds of cool stuff like that. So, I mean, this is, this is cheap as it is and I'm paying, you know, retail with that being said, um, if you've watched the breaks, you realize the format is essentially, there's going to be four patch, cards and then you're going to have i think three autos and then the last card is a book so the only way to do it first off is to do it randomly otherwise everyone would simply pick the eighth card um the other thing was that you notice that there are bonus cards and i think that it's only fair to uh, make it available to anyone who bought in um but what i would like to do is i'd like to add an additional bonus and I'm thinking of making the bonus only for the four people who didn't get an auto. Um, because I feel like those are going to be the people who kind of feel like they didn't get their money's worth. Um, but what I, what I don't want to do, hey, Sal, welcome. What I don't want to do is I don't want the other four people to feel left out. Now, if um, if this stays within Patreon, then I can let you guys tell me what you want. Um, the second that it really goes and, and gets opened up to general public, for lack of a better word, then I kind of have to just pick something and run with it. Uh, Sal, we're breaking 2017 tonight. Um, we have, uh, I have four boxes of it. As of right now, only the first box um, sold out. For those of you, Sal might be aware of it, uh, Terry, because I talked to him yesterday. Those of you that are familiar with the lovely state of California um, know that we've had all kinds of wildfire issues. So yesterday I was without power pretty much all day long. So I didn't really get a chance to promote it as much as I would have liked to. So 
Tom has a stack in the second box. We would need two more people to get the second box sold and broke tonight. Otherwise, we'll just come back another night and uh, break it then. Anyway, yeah, buddy, I was no power all day. Um, and, and then you can you can fill us in on uh, the bad thing you did, Sal, while I'm uh, finishing this little spiel. So how would you guys feel about offering um, an additional chance for an auto, but only to the, the four people who don't get an auto? Now, just kind of put yourself in the position of a person who didn't pull an auto. You spent 70 bucks, no auto. Um, you'd have a 25% chance, a one in four chance of getting an auto. Uh, the bonus card would be available to anyone who bought in. Um, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, Tom, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, for those people who feel like I spent the same amount of money, um, but I didn't get an auto and that guy over there got a book, you know, that's going to suck, obviously, but that's baseball card collecting. But, you know, how we do things over here at Gourmet, and if I can kind of rig the system to make sure everybody goes home happy, then that's what I'm going to do. So if we're all kind of in agreement so far, that the bonus card that comes within the pack, yeah, I would do a randomizer, Shalini. I would do a randomizer, first of all, because there's eight cards. So randomize, first of all, I start at the beginning, and that's how I go. Now, if I knew ahead of time that there was a bonus card, um, which is, from what I've seen, always an auto. Now, if I knew it ahead of time, I would make the first card, which is only a patch, I would make that the bonus. That way... Instead of four people not getting an auto, it would only go down to three people not getting an auto. But I wouldn't know if there's a bonus card or if there's two bonus cards unless I'd open the box ahead of time. But then that opens up a bunch of issues of people thinking something shady's going on. Uh, and I don't really want to go down that road and I want to sit here and have to defend myself for you know what I chose to do. Anyway randomizer at first start at the beginning by the time you get to the uh the additional card it'd be the card or cards right before the booklet at the end those cards would be randomly given away to the eight original people after that we're going to be left with you know three people maybe four people who didn't get an auto at that point those four people or hopefully three people they would go into an additional drawing. One of them would get an additional auto. Does that all make sense? I know that's a lot of a lot of words to say something that's somewhat simple, but again, I'm all about making sure that my Patreon members are happy. So you guys tell me now, how do you feel about that? And then we will start cracking this open. Okay, so if you guys are in, and for those people that are watching this on the replay, I'm going to go ahead and show you what the bonus, and this is just, this is from me. Yeah, Shalini, that's, um, that's not a bad idea. Um, again, it, it all comes down to, it has to be universal agreement. I can't have like a, you know, five to three vote. Kind of, ooh, all right, Greg might have just won right there. That might be a diss off. Um, so anyway, we can explore that a little bit, uh, Shalani. I just, I don't want there to be any, any gray area whatsoever. Um, I do have, I think I got a Piscotti Auto. You know, like I don't mind people pre A's, like if they're in a rookie, a rookie year or something and they're not with my team yet, so be it. You know, I'm still a fan of them. Now, when they leave the A's, that's their problem and I hate them. Uh, but that's the opposite direction. So you're OK. He got smarter as he got older. Anyway, enough about that. Let me show you what I picked up for especially this. This discussion right here. This will go for free to one of the additional or one of the three people 
who didn't get lucky enough to get an auto. Okay, so if you were on the fence about buying in, hey, look, I, I'm I'm a realistic guy. I'm just a normal dude who started a channel a few months ago. You know, buying these high end things was never really on my radar. But Panini has just been killing it this year, and uh, National Treasures just seems so interesting. So with that being said, I picked up a box. I, I admittedly kind of took a gamble that it would sell out. Um, it has not sold out. So there's, there's eight, eight cards. And, um, I just, I need you guys to, you know, kind of make it official and buy in the people who do not get an auto, whether it's three people or four people, um, this is going to one of them. All right. And this isn't like, yeah, anyway, this is what it would be. All right. So that's that's official. That's the deal. This is the bonus card, and that's how it will happen. All right. So hopefully you guys, you know, hopefully by now, you know, you kind of get what I'm trying to do over here. Um, kind of steering away from just going for all out. Oh, and by the way, it's 88 out of 99. Um, kind of moving away from just being a huge, huge channel just for the sake of numbers and definitely favoring quality over quantity and trying to keep this community vibe that we have going uh going strong uh cool cena that's a good question um i'm thinking probably um either a marquee card that you've seen on the channel or um product uh buy in for patreon what's the purpose for for Patreon, the Patreon starts out at, I might say this wrong, at, at $5.99, or I think it's $4.99, Shalini, is the, the the entry tier that gets you access to all the stuff, you know, packs with friends, um, all that stuff. And uh, you get put into a drawing for a free uh, numbered card, relic, or auto. The the sixty nine ninety nine is the cost for national treasures. Yeah, no, it, it's, it doesn't cost sixty nine bucks to join uh, Patreon. Yeah, take care, take care of business. Ooh, well, hey, you know what, Shalani, uh, Terry knows just how you feel because Terry. <laughs> Terry, that's a running joke in the little group here. Uh, Miss Terry to Cody. So, oh, Sal. Well, Sal, now you have a case of Clearly Authentic, and I have a case of Clearly Authentic, which I posted on Patreon today. And I'm, I'm going to beat the big guy's uh, price on that, too. And so that's uh, $58.99 through me. And if you're going to buy more than one, um, I probably knock off another another dollar or two for each one after that. Hey, JDLS cards. <laughs> well, Sal, you, I'm not going to stop you. Um, yeah, Mikey did. That was kind of funny. And it was like, no matter how many comments we made about like, it's a guy. Oh, right on. Hey, well, Sal, that's a great choice. Um, I don't know if you got my email about doing a mixer. I could see doing several different things, um, you know, just to make interesting watching. Your call, though. It's your money. It's your birthday. Uh, live it up. Yep, big. That's the that's the idea. Um, trying to trying to keep this feel going. You know, as nice as it would be to you know be overwhelmed with people, I think at some point you you kind of lose touch with what got you to where you were. And, you know, that's sad. So. Ooh. Well, OK, so I don't know if you saw what I said to you about. Um, I could probably get you a deal on the case of Gypsy Queen. And uh, I don't know how many boxes or whatever of stuff um, I was talking to. Tom, I think I was talking to Tom about maybe posting this list of stuff that I have here 
that obviously I can get you a price on. I've got, and this is for anybody listening, if you wanted to do a mixer in the future. Um, so looking behind me right now, I've got five boxes of Bowman Chrome. I've got one box of HTA. I've got uh, two boxes of Bowman Sterling, and I've got two hobby boxes of Chronicles. I still have a box of Heritage High Number. I still have a box of Top Spire. And I still have a box of um, Optic, which could be an autograph hot box. So thinking about doing something where, you know, maybe you want to buy one of the packs of Chronicles, but not maybe a whole thing. Maybe you want to buy one Sterling and we can kind of do this all at the same time. And, you know, it'd be fun for everyone to see a, a variety of stuff. It wouldn't lock all your money into one thing. Anyway, could be fun. Um, but that's a, that's a conversation for another time. We can talk about it later. Um, for right now, let's get into this. Yeah, Sal, uh, I, I didn't want to really uh, spill the beans on um, on your plan here. Um, but if you want to kind of tell people what what you were thinking, then by all means, fill them in, uh, get people excited. So you guys know that I'm going to. Um, yeah, it's already posted, buddy. Um, so you guys know that from now on, I'm going to shuffle the packs. Uh, in my head, I was thinking like, oh, well, let's have them all shuffled. Then we're ready to go. Again, though, didn't want anybody thinking that I stacked the deck in any which way. So you could see it's sealed. I'm going to open it. I'm going to pull it. I'm going to shuffle it. And then we're going to go. Are we all good? Are we all in agreement? I don't know if there's any pattern in 17 like there was in 19. Um, Hey, Oliver's here. Has anybody seen, is there a, is there a discernible pattern in this? Um, Oliver, uh, did your cards arrive today? They should be arriving soon. Um, so, Terry, you were in that right stack. Um, so you got, you got a, a free auto um, for the mishap. Oliver, I think you were in the right stack of box three. So you uh, got a free auto. And Tom, um, you wound up in the right stack on one of the things you picked. And even though you got uh, a relic or something earlier on, it was only fair that you also got one because everybody else did. So you guys have an additional auto coming and there's a note in it. Uh, no, Coolcina. Um, I haven't because again, I just got your thing like a day ago and then I didn't have power, but don't worry, buddy. Like it's, it's coming. You don't see what? Yeah. Well, I, I'm glad that you're happy, but I don't know. In, in my head, I just felt like it wasn't, it wasn't right. And I have, to, I just maybe for my own personal well-being, I had to do what I had to do to make myself feel good about it. So, oh, and uh, Dwight's not here yet, right? Um, Dwight got uh, replaced his black um, Denny Reyes card. And I didn't even notice, but the one that he had that was damaged was number 15 out of 50. And the one that I bought him was 14 out of 50. So that was just kind of funny how that worked out. Thanks, Oliver. I, I do try to... Um, the post of clearly... What, am I missing something? I should have... It should be on Patreon today. I think I posted it uh, later in the day. Can you guys do me a favor? Can you look on... Uh, Patreon or maybe on your settings. I feel like when I was originally posting stuff, I was getting a lot of comments. And on these last ones, um, I haven't really been getting any comments to the point of I'm almost wondering if you guys aren't seeing it. You're not seeing it? That's bizarre.
Fantastic. I'm not seeing it either. Part of the problem yesterday with the power thing is the internet has been ridiculous. Um, okay, I'll make sure to re redo it. But again, the the big channels, if you if you guys keep score, um, I'm going to try to come in under uh, on everything and just hope that in the long run, once we eventually get monetized, that it pays off. But they were $59.99 there. So with me, it's $58.99. Uh, this was $77.99. Uh, for me, it's $69.99. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to beat beat the, the big guy prices uh, whenever I can. Terry, you saw it? What the? Uh, I don't get what's happening. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to I'm going to shuffle and then we're going to deal. Uh, okay. All right. Everyone here? Everyone ready? I don't know, Sal. What kind of car is it? Something cute, I hope. Okay, so first stack belongs to James Palmer. James, who are you looking for? If you guys had a chance to check out, check out the checklist of this product, it's ridiculous. Um, Alonzo. Yeah, exactly, buddy. Yesterday was a disaster. Oh, it's actually a cool car. Uh, yesterday was a disaster. Running around looking for ice, looking for a generator. Uh, yeah, just awful. So anyway, we've got Alonzo in here. We've got Soto. We've got Acuna. We've got Glaber Torres. Uh, there's a Matt Chapman card even in here. It's crazy. Like, I don't know how people have been sleeping on this product for so long, but uh, somebody's going to get wind of it eventually. Okay, we got Harrison Bader. So already, you know, you're going to you're gonna know almost all of these names. Or T, that, right there, third card in, we already got a Pete Alonzo. James, Pete Alonzo, third card in. I'm telling you guys, like, if, <laughs> if you didn't buy into this break, like, and, and look on eBay, look for, look for a price of these boxes on eBay. You know, like I don't need to remind people that I try to do things a, as fairly as possible here, but, uh, the boxes alone are like, you know, 129 to 139. And this, I'm basically selling the box for 150, you know, which would include shipping. So we've got Kingery, we've got strikeout. So these are, you know, one of the things that's in 17. Is an auto guaranteed one on card autograph and one memorabilia card per box. Logan Shore, Kybert Ruiz, and Jazz Chisholm. So, again, familiar names, all familiar names. Now Pete Alonzo is nice. I was hoping we'd get one. I didn't think I was going to find it within three cards. So, James, lucky day for you. Oh, and by the way, everyone that ordered, um, we still have one box of Heritage Minor League left, and same price on that was 25 bucks. so I'd still honor the 25 bucks. And I went through all your cards and sleeved up all the SPs. Tom, you actually got an image variation, and I put a little post-it note on there so that you would know um, what was going on there. So Tyler Bede, Jorge Ona, Mountcastle, Tristan McKenzie. Dalton Jeffries. Bo Bichette. There's a nice card. Andy Yerzy and Cody Sedlock. So we got Alonzo. We got Bo Bichette. I, I had totally forgot that Bo Bichette was even in here. This is a sleeper card for sure. You just play nicely and go into this sleeve. There we go. All right. Two packs. Two big cards for James. Yeah, so far, so far, so good. This is definitely 
definitely a card, uh, a product that you could buy and just be happy with the base. Kyle Funkhauser, Jemai Jones, Eric Fede, Lucas Ursig. Now, this has got to be, oh, there we go. Number 45 out of 50. Nice SP. 45 out of 50, James. Nice pull. Kind of like how they did that. It's definitely a, a classy looking SP. Yeah, I mean, that's that's the the reality of a minor league product, though, right? Like, you're going to get someone who may not have made it quite to the bigs. Christian Pache, Jamie Schultz, Justin Dunn, and Mitchell White. You know, by 17, you kind of have it figured out. You know, buying into the 19 product. You don't really know yet what they're going to become. Brandon Marsh. That's a good question. Uh-oh. What's going on with the Astros? Well, is it 3-0 or 1-0? I'm hoping for three. Okay. Nice. Max Fried, Ryan McMahon, Trevor Clifton, Zach Collins. Oh, there we go. Might be a little late on this one, but you can make your pro debut with the Fresno Grizzlies. Okay, we got our 2016 inning pitch leaders, French Volstead and Vasquez, Angel Perdomo, and Bryson Brigman. Two packs to go for James. Hopefully you guys are having a, a good day today. Um, sorry that it Took me so long to get to this break, um, you know, trying to coordinate everybody's schedule. I think in, in the future, as the channel grows, I might have to just kind of pick a day and then go with it. And hopefully you don't have to wind up watching the replay. But, uh, you know, I, I'm trying. Isan Diaz, Mickey Moniak, Roniel Rodas, okay, Baseball America, Tristan McKenzie, Gavin Lux. There's a nice card. Juan Hillman. Hey, Chris, welcome. Uh, don't know if you got to take off already, but glad you stopped by. Marcus Diplin and Taylor Clark. One pack to go. You got a, a low number parallel out of 50. You got a Boba Shet. You got a Pete Alonzo. Last pack mojo for James. You got Tyler O'Neill. John Duplantier. Nice, Shalini's back. Michael Kopech, there's a nice pull. Ooh, what do we got here? And a Chance Cisco. I'm going to sleeve up this Kopech. Too bad Jonathan H. isn't here yet. He's a he's a big Kopech fan. Um, you should have bought some of this today at LCS. Yeah, if they, if they had good prices on it. So what is this one? This one's out of 99. This Chance Cisco's out of 99. Not too shabby. So you got two numbered parallels in your stack. James. And once again, two different teams. So the beauty, all your big cards are from a different team. So once again, the uh, the beauty of stacks over teams is paying off. Corbin Burns. James Palmer is a Brewers fan. Corbin Burns is a familiar name. Lively, DeJong, and Moramondo, 2016 pitching leaders. 2016 stolen base leaders, Batista, Granite, and Jenkins. And to round it out, a Jose Tavares. So I'll go back and uh, pull the Burns auto out of what? I'll go back, James, and I will double check all your cards and make sure you don't have any high number SPs or anything else in there. Um, and if you do, I will get them all sleeved up for you. So nice job, James. Uh, gonna have a lot of jealous people. Over that, Alonzo. Okay, next on the list, middle stack, Tom. Uh-oh, 4-0. Let me catch up real quick. Yeah, this design is, is definitely classic. Um, 
Greg, we, we have more boxes if you still want to if you want to buy into it. Um, we got to sell the second box out. I got four. Um, yeah, the, the names are amazing. Uh, they're just like unintentional humor at its finest. And wh what'd you pull a Burns auto out of, Sal? Thank you, big ass collector. You guys, you know how to hit the thumbs up button. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm lots of cards going through my mind. I think I, uh, James, did I did I include a Burns Auto um, in your Patreon? Uh, Fifty, James. I sent um, all the people that bought into the the higher the heavyweight uh, Patreon. You know, I let them see their packs ahead of time. Um, I let them see the autos. I let them pick their their star players, and I think both James and Tom both picked. Uh, they wanted a Vladdy card and a uh, Pete Alonzo. So they're getting that. They got numbered parallels. They got two autos apiece. Um, so hopefully you guys are happy when it gets there. Okay. Ready, Tom? We got Colton Welker, Kyle Zimmer, Jason Groom, got a Kevin Newman, Baseball America All Star. Oh, we got the Tatis Jr. Very nice. Fernando Tatis Jr. Again, another huge name in here. Who doesn't want to get a minor league card of some of these stars from 2019? Nice pull, Tom. Too bad Allen's not here yet. You could make him jealous. Finished out that pack. Josh Okame, sure. Oscar De La Cruz and TJ Zouch. Zouch, whatever. We don't know who he is by now. We probably won't. I'm sure, he's a nice guy, though. Yeah, Tara, again, I really do appreciate the video. Um, I, I, I definitely get a kick out of, you know, sending you guys stuff that's going to make you happy. Um, and I know Terry's a big uh, Jordan Alvarez fan, and he's not in very many products, so I made sure to include uh, Bowman so that he'd have a chance at getting a Jordan. Okay, Fernando Romero, Cal Quantrill, Bobby Bradley, Anderson Tejeda. Ooh, oh, almost dropped it. Well, you know what? I'll be honest. I've never really been a fan of these kind of misshapen things, but if you got to get one, you might as well get a Bo Bichette. Nice. This guy's cards have got to be poised to just take off. I mean, he's... I think he's got the legs to have a, a legitimate career. Uh, definitely not a flash in the pan. Zach Birdie, Tyler Badom Badamo, and Nick Neidert. <clears throat> Sorry if my voice is a little scratchy. Uh, it is what it is, right? Put my game face on. Tyler J. Phil Bickford. Nick Solak. Kyle Tucker. That's a nice Kyle Tucker. Oh, and look it. Look who's right behind him. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Dang. Homie put on a freshman 50. Look how thin he looks. What happened? What happened? Yeah, Sal definitely. I'm sorry. Saw Sal's name and then it commented. Tom is definitely killing it with the, the stars here. And again, so far, you know, these have been the base cards. And I feel like, honestly, uh, lately for me, that's kind of been the secret. You know, rather than, rather than hit hunting, you know, you got to find a product where you're happy with the base cards. And uh, so far, these have been a hit. Will Benson, J.B. Woodman, the Lansing Lugnuts, and Wilmer Becerra. 25 a stack, Sal, was for the uh, 2019 minor league. Which I feel like was a pretty good product. I don't know how you guys felt about the product overall. 
you know, the, it was a little bit disappointing that they they put all the hits in the same exact spot, but the the cards were nice. You know, there's several several um, Wander Franco cards in there. Uh, Jordan Alvarez, um, Miguel Amaya, Luciano, lots of good stuff in there. And at twenty five bucks, I feel like was it, it borderline a budget break. Willie Calhoun, of course, that's easy for me to say when I'm, you know, spending somebody else's money. But uh, anyway, Logan Allen, Andrew Stevenson, Brady Aiken, uh, Tiger Eagle. You missed the, you missed the Alonzo. You missed the Guerrero. You missed Kyle Tucker. You missed Tatis Jr. You didn't miss um, an auto. You missed an out of fifty, an out of ninety nine. Brady Aiken. And he got another one of these. I don't know if these are candy toppers still, but uh, Scott Kingery. Yeah, lots of lots of big names, you know, current stars. Tiger Eagles. I can't pick this bottom card up. Another Lucas Ursig, Ronnie Dawson, and AJ Puckett. You guys could do me a favor when you guys do get your Patreon packages. You know, I'd love to. I'd love to hear that they arrived first of all, and uh, always like hearing comments and whatnot. Um, if you guys, Eloy Jimenez, stop me in my tracks. Eloy Jimenez, Tom again with the hot hand. Uh, Tom's got some serious luck on this channel, and I'm not mad at you, man. Look, that's awesome. Eloy Jimenez. Um, so, uh, Tiger Eagles card collecting, it really all depends on what, what you personally want to get out of uh, Patreon. $4.99 um, gets you in the door, gets you entry into getting an auto and stuff, you know, gets you access to uh, packs with friends, which I think anybody in here would tell you is a, a freaking blast. And I've got a bunch of bunch of cool packs you can buy into. Um, on the other end, you know, it goes up to 99 and, you know, you could talk to a few of the guys in here that have that package. You get a ton of stuff. Um, like I had to ship, I had to ship some of them in a medium flat rate box cause it just had so many, you know, 20 packs of cards, um, all over the place. So, um, I think I'm putting together a good value. Obviously, you know, people can only spend what they can spend. And, and that's, yeah, that's, I'll leave it at that. JP Crawford, Lodi Tavares, Sandy Alcantara. A third topper, two Sandy Alcantaras in a row. You need a Jimenez to give to my friend. I wish Peter lost it. Yeah. Um, Oliver, if one of you could, um, if I could task you with reminding me about packs with friends and times. Um, if, hey, Sal, if that's what it takes. Okay. I'll even call you the next day. That's how I, that's how I roll. I'm a classy gentleman. Yeah. Sorry, Greg H. Well, some of those streams go for seven hours. All right. So funny story here. Uh, so this is two, 2016 runs leaders, this Mauricio Dubon, um, he actually went to the high school that my wife went to and um, she uh, taught there for a little bit. And uh, he was a, a student at the time. So and now he's on the Giants. So it's kind of funny. Um, local kid comes home kind of story. And I think James, I think he was actually in the Brewers system for a while. Uh, that's I'll leave. I'll share a pack of cigarettes with you too. So just kidding. I don't smoke, but okay. 2016 ERA leaders, Barnes, Dirks and Holmes and Jesus Sanchez. Did you just post a video today? Big S collector. And yeah, James, um, you know, we kind of been kind of been following him 
um, you know, it's fun to see a, a, you know, former student, you know, make it to the big time. And he first got called up there and I was like, oh, that's cool. He'll get to play with, uh, with Yelly. And then, you know, <laughs> like a, an hour and a half later, he's traded to Giants, which is still cool because, you know, the Giants are much more um, of a fan favorite out here than the A's are. But that's because people in the Bay Area are stupid, except for me and Blondebeard Breaks and anybody else. Oh, dads and cards are Yair Alvarez, Jose Albertos, Jojo Romero, Sweet Stash, Victor Robles, huh? Tom. I'm going to put this one in a sleeve for Tom. Tom gets it. Look at Terry offering up an Eloy. Gentleman. Terry doesn't know that, you know, I got to send him cards, so I might slip slip a little something in Terry's package. Felix, Jorge, Dane, Dunning, Buddy Reed, and Andy Ibanez. Now... I'm just going to go ahead and do the math here and two stacks down and one Terry left to go and freaking Terry Dakota with stupid luck. First off, this guy picks pack number four, like a real jokester, like nobody picks four, gets a one of one tonight, picks the right stack. And I'm sure most of you can figure out that we have not pulled either the auto or the relic. Oh, yeah, you got it. Did you see what I meant about the, the size of the one touch? I would just leave it in there. It's like it's in a one, a 180 point one touch, and it's like it needs a 185, you know. And the next size up, um, so we're talking about from packs with friends the other night. Terry bought a pack of Chronicles, he bought a pack of Chronicles, and he got a one of one auto patch out of. Uh, whatever I charge for them, like a $5 pack of cards. <laughs> it's crazy. And I, I am glad, you know, you guys saw, you saw me shuffle it. You saw the, all the stuff. Kevin Newman, Jake Bowers, Franklin Perez, Kristen Stewart, Another candy topper, Ariel Harado. Has anybody seen Barry K tonight? Jack Flaherty, Dylan Carlson, and Austin Riley. Yeah, Sal, it was the printing plate. I don't know if there are various colors of printing plates. You know, there's like a black one, and there's like a cyan one, and... Um, yeah, Terry, it's, it's a little nuts. I almost feel like maybe they reduced the amount that they started putting in these packs. I, I hate weird size things because I don't feel like I can sleeve them properly. You know, I'm worried that they're going to get all dinged up. Um, anywho, Blake Rutherford, Alex Verdugo, Carter Keyboom. There's a nice card. But old Tom's over there. Tom's still got another stack to go in a different box. So there's still there's still a chance he gets the Carter key boom. Did you see an Alonzo back there? Nick Gordon, Andrew Suarez, Cole Stewart, 2016 home run leaders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This one's about to get lost in the mail, Terry. I'm going to go ahead and put a sleeve on it. Oh, close. Adolfo. 
Carter Keyboom goes to Tom. I assume that's what you meant. Carter Keyboom. Tom, you now have a Carter Keyboom. All right. Next one. I'm excited. What are we going to get? No relic in this one. Chance Adams. Franklin Barreto. Jacob Hayward. <gasps> it just happened. That's a real thing. Terry friggin' to Cody. I can't even believe I'm holding it. Freaking Terry Dakota. Just soak it in. Nothing even needs to be said. Just soak it in. That's a thing. That's a real thing. Well, this clearly calls for a one touch. Terry flipping Ducote pulling hits on this channel like nobody's business. Dude. Terry, go buy a lottery ticket. And there she is. First box, Pete Alonzo on card, real one, auto. So I don't even know what my reaction was. It's one of those moments where it's like, I don't even know what I did when I saw the thing. See, Terry, now I have to now I have to give like a disappointing news. No, it's not. It's not numbered. Um but really, like, who the hell cares, right? Like, that's so awesome. So it might, it might be a, um, it might be an image or a name variation as well. It does have a different code, so you're gonna want to check that out, Terry. Check it out. See if there is a there is a uh, missing name variation. Somebody get on that. Dang. No, nah, I, I don't even. I drop. I drop my phone. I didn't spit on the card though, so you're welcome for that. I've seen other channels where they start freaking out and they spit on the card. <laughs> Terry Ducote, what is even happening with you right now? See, Terry, this is good karma for making a video uh, helping me out earlier. It has to be. It has to be, right? Greg H., are you kidding me right now? Oh. Yeah, I'll... Hey, when I when I evacuate my home from a wildfire, this will be one of the first things I grab. And then I'll grab my kid. Giving Tom that card too. I think that's one of those times in life when punctuation and context are a big deal. Uh it's tops R O A P A. The autograph cards generally don't fall within the set. The the variation code is looks like four two four. Oh, I got like goosebumps. Yes, yes, that that was one. Carter Keyboom, well spent. Well, tell us. Uh, fill us in. I'm going to keep going through these cards. I feel like uh, just life is a blur right now. 
Sheldon Noisy, Randy Arozarena, Luis Gohara, Dash Winningham, Jacob Hayward, and we saw those. Okay, who's got $10 then to give it to Terry for this only $10 card? I'll give him 11. No, I'll take that back. 10 50. 20 50. 20 50 right now. Cash money. Oh, good grief. Dominic Smith. And we have our nickel relic. Kyle Lewis, number 29 out of 99. Uh, yes, cool Cena, uh, uh, the understatement of forever. I mean, let's be honest. Like, there's a few autos in here that you secretly hope that's the one that I get, and that's the only thing that's going to make you happy. And I feel like the Pete Alonzo um, is definitely, definitely it. You know, there could be a Vladdy card in here, but at the end of the year, you know, Vladdy was, he was good. Um, Tatis is hurt, but Alonzo, home run champ, probably rookie of the year. Definitely say he had the best, the best year out of all the big rookies. I really hate putting these things in. I'll put him in a 180. Don't worry. He will be safe. You only got two cards in there, aside from it, Dominic Smith and Cole Reggins. Name a mission one in 47 packs. I'm assuming that's like one in 47,000 packs. That's it's a that's a crazy card. Well, Terry, it's going to live in this one touch until it, you know, makes it to your home. Grant Holmes, Forrest Whitley, Delvin Perez, Ariel Gerardo, um, a double. If you're playing the game, Jacob Nix, Rob Kaminsky, and Vladimir Gutierrez. Wrong Vladimir. Terry, that's, that's just... I almost, I, I don't even know what to say. I almost think I'd, I might rather have that Alonzo than the Tucker. But the Tucker, you know, there's only one of them in the world. So, but you get both. So you don't really have to pick. Okay. Alec Hansen. Hey, Juan Soto. I knew he was going to be in there somewhere. There's still a chance we pull the Acuna. Before we are done with Terry's stack. Nice. Barry K is in the house. So, Terry, you let Tom know if you want to trade. Yanni O. Perez. Lewin Diaz. Ben Bowden. CJ Hinojosa. And Reese Hoskins. Another big name, playing for Bacon USA. Pete Alonzo, when you say with the nameplate, you mean literally with it? Tom, got it. Um, so I only have two more people's cards here uh, to send out. And that's just because I was getting down to the end um, and I didn't have power. Um, Sal. So, Sal, I have all of the, you know, you bought all that that Gypsy Queen and you bought all that 90 tops. Um, and I vaguely remember you saying something about the 90 tops only wanting stars, but I wasn't sure. And it's a lot of cards. So I'm probably going to have to send it in like a big medium uh, rate thing. Um, 
Can you tell me right now, and I'm going to write it down right now, uh, what you want me to do with the 90 tops? Stars and Mark Gubixa. Got it. I will write down because there's no way I remember Mark Gubixa. All right. Well, with that, uh, it's a good point. Yeah, you did buy 90 tops and 87. I'll tell you what. I'll, I'll just give you all the Mark Gubixas that I find. 87 and 90, stars only, and Mark Gubixa. Well, Terry, it's definitely your lucky night yet again. 16 people in here and only eight people like Pete Alonzo, apparently. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, Barry Kay, right? Like, come on. So anyway, with that being said, um, the second box has only sold one of the stacks. Um, unless there's two additional people in here, too. Tom, you have uh, you have left. <clears throat> you have middle on this one, so you have left on the next one. Um, so we have middle stack and right stack to go, and then we also have those two other boxes. So if there's no takers, um, or you want to sleep on it then that would be the end of uh oh james is throwing down a gauntlet james will buy one if someone else takes the other spot tonight you guys know me i'm not going to i'm not going to twist anybody's arm and i'm not going to you know make people sit here uh endlessly That's three stacks. All right, gentlemen. We doing this? I'm going to do a second box. I'm a little bit nervous because I kind of feel like, you know, there's only, there's only so many Pete Alonzo autos out there in the world. Seven hundred and fourteen packs, even better. Okay, I got James is in. Tom, I see that you are in for uh, National Treasures and Barry K. Barry K is in. So, uh, so one piece of housekeeping, and I, I didn't see it yet, and if it is, somebody's going to need to tell me um, where I can find it in the comments, and we're going to go, we're going to go old school here. Pick a number between 1 and 20, Barry or James, both of you. Uh-oh. Pick a number between 1 and 20, Barry. Number is 12. Barry, do you want the middle stack or do you want the left stack? Oh, that's definitely a multi hundreds of dollars card. 
Okay, so James, that leaves you with the right stack, which as we all know at this point is the luckiest stack in the history of all of the world because that's what stack Barry had when he pulled that card. Box two, all nice and sealy goodness. Oh, uh, it was that's a crazy moment. I I mean I love it like as the as the channel host, you know, obviously the the content's only as good as the cards that come out of the packs. And you know, you guys have been pulling some amazing cards, which only helps, right? Makes makes everything more exciting. You know, I get to go back and change the title to, you know, awesome Pete Alonzo. Missing name auto. Yeah, we do. All right. So there they are. A little shuffles them up. Okay, Tom, you are first with the left stack. Yeah, I would appreciate, you know, and, and even when I say, you know, sharing the video, I kind of feel like where? You know, where, where where do I share this thing? I don't know. Um, really, just anything that you can do to help spread the word. You know, I, I I read all your comments. I value all your comments. You know, I, I've heard a lot of people like, man, I think your, your videos are better than other people. Or I'll see somebody comment that like, man, how do you only have that many subs? All those kinds of comments. I, I really do take them to heart. I, I do enjoy it. Um, and... Um, I just need to get the name out there, I guess. Um, with that being said, uh, I had asked you guys in the past to post on the... Oh, Tom! No, that didn't take very long. I I posted... Or I, I discussed talking about um, things on the community tab in Patreon, and it was gone, and I uh, contacted Patreon, and they told me um, there no longer is a community tab for new pages, but the old pages get to keep their community tab, which I feel like is kind of ridiculous because I pay the same percentage that the old people pay, but they get more features than I do. And somehow that doesn't really seem fair. Um, and now they say, they say you have to use Discord, but you know, for us, you know, more advanced in age people like I don't really want to have to worry about keeping up with another app and another social media site. And I don't know. That's where that's at. So Tom, Tom is definitely about to get real lucky and not in like a weird kinky way, Tom. All right. All right. Dirty mind. Tom's about to get lucky. Dylan Tate, Clint Frazier, another huge name. Oh, you can see the name. Glaber Torres, game used memorabilia relic card. This ain't some no name scrub, Tom. Glaber Torres, minor league, game used, awesome. Very nice. And it's okay to be a fan of his, you know, until, you know, you might wind up playing the, the Yankees later on. But still, look at you go. Yep, Cool Cena is definitely a big-time Yanks fan. You're making people jealous tonight, Tom. Check it out. Glaber Torres game use memorabilia. All right, Terry, you take it easy. Don't tell me what you're cooking because I'm about to get hungry. And Taylor Trammell rounds out the pack. So 
God, even the base cards surrounding it were nice. Terry, congratulations tonight, man. Pete Alonzo, I'm happy I got to see it. I got to touch it. I smelled it a little bit, but not in a weird way. I'll mail it out to you in about two months. I'm going to show everyone and claim that it's mine just so I can feel good for a while. Then I'll send it to you. Anthony Banda. Alex Kirilov. Mike Soroka. Check out these names. Seriously. Blake Rutherford. Yu Cheng Chang. Esteban Florial. 2016 saves leaders. Kerasidi, Chasen, and Jimenez. Wrong Jimenez. And Luis Arias. Yeah, first pack. What did you get first last time? You get Pete Alonzo like in the first three cards. This time, first three cards, you get a Glaber Torres game used patch. Yeah, Oliver. As soon as I saw it, I was, was going to say that, but everybody on this channel is so, so generous that I, I try to now watch what I say because I don't want to you know, inadvertently convinced, see that that's, <laughs> that's right there. Like, I don't want to like guilt people into doing something. Richard Arena, Taylor Ward, Neil Diaz. Oh, Michael Kopech, low number SP. I think these are out of 99. Yep. 89 out of 99. See now, don't think that that was some fluke. What did Terry do? Terry gave Tom a Carter key boom. That's a valuable card. That's got to be a three, four dollar card. Few few packs later, Terry pulls a Pete Alonzo card. Tom gives Oliver uh, a Kirilov card. Several cards later, out of ninety nine, Michael Kopech, big name, low number, doesn't get any better than that. Look at look at the karma, paying off instantly sorry tom i've already i've already put it in your stack i'm sorry oliver it's already it's already happened there's no way i can take it back yeah see i already i already moved it because then if i take this back then you know like i got to go back in time the copec doesn't come up it's a whole mess. Time travel, just it's messy. It's kind of tired. A home run card. Khalil Lee, Hudson Potts, and Chris Oki. That's quite a last name. I'm sure nobody ever makes okay jokes with Mr. Oki. Okie dokey. All kinds of ways you can go with that. All kinds of paperwork. Ah, forms I got to fill out. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Um, Patreon members, uh, Terry, I think, might have been the only one that received his package so far. You guys should probably be there tomorrow. Um, I included a, a bonus um, in there. And for those of you that are familiar with forum hate talk, there's a lot of nasty talk about, you know, certain other big name people, you know, charging people for cards that he's been given. Um, you're going to get some free cards in there and there's a little note in there. So those of you that actually do videos, you know, if you kind of show it, I'd appreciate it. Those of you that don't do videos, I think you'll, you'll appreciate the spirit of it. Ryan Helsley, Akil Badu, Franklin Colomb, Domingo Acevedo, I like the Cardinals card. It is hmm. Cardinals. Who? I must have missed it. Tom's going to go play for the Grizzlies. Keegan Aiken. Greg Allen. And Eric Lauer. So let me ask you guys this. Those of you that have really like dug into this product. Does somebody know like. The, the history or significance of the kind of the different weave kind of pattern 
it almost makes you feel like some of them should be like parallels, but I, I know they're not because there's too many of them. We're down to nine people. What did I say something? Did I make a political joke inadvertently? Chance Cisco. Braxton Garrett. Uh, Nick Senzel, that's a good question. Did you check the, the checklist, Big S? Ahmed Rosario. Ooh, Colby Allard, Baseball in America. Jonathan H. is going to be jealous. David Thompson. Austin Hayes. Oliver. Look at that fine-looking young man. Oh, Mr. Graham just did him wrong. Ah, oh, cool. Nick Senzel's in here. Andrew Sacco and Patrick Weigel. Tom is down to his last pack. Last box. Both cards wound up in the same stack. Will it happen again? Who knows? Francisco Rios. Nick Williams. Steven Gonzalez. Ooh, Willie Adamas. There's a nice card. And we have the Bradenton Marauders. Interesting little dealio there. You can flick it as a car as you drive by. Sixto Sanchez, Will Craig, and Noni Williams. So, Tom, you're not going to double up, but Glaber Torres, game used patch card at a 2017 Heritage Minor League. Damn. That is nice. Congratulations, Tom. Not a bad night. Heck yeah. There's nothing quite like the feeling of getting one of the hits, and that hit is a huge name. Okay, so middle stack. Barry K, cards for days, late edition, jumped right on it. And Barry, um, I got home at like 3.47 and there was a ton of mail in my mailbox, uh, lots of packages. Um, I didn't have a chance to look through them all. I don't know if one of them would be your cards for auction. Um, I'm hoping they are, obviously, but I don't know when you sent it. <clears throat> but Barry Kay is on the clock. Let's do it. Okay. Yep. And then I'll get them out, and you have a list in there for me. And then you, I saw that you, you posted a list. Um, where did that list get posted, uh, Barry? Did you post it, like, in a comment? If you did, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wind up cutting and pasting that, and then I'll make a, a, a post just for it. Okay, so I'm going to make its own post, and that way people aren't trying to play catch up reading through other comments. No problem. Hey, man, the more that your guys' stuff sells, you know, like, it it benefits everyone, right? Like, everyone has a good time. Um, it goes smoother. Last week went great. Um, hopefully, we get a few more Patreon members in here um joining up and uh yeah it was it was an awesome time adonis medina mitch keller i was i just finished just in time for jonathan h to show up jonathan h you missed a bunch of amazing cards man you should have seen what terry pulled sean reed foley thomas zapuki oh Barry K getting the PJ Conlin. The PJ Conlin auto. I'm over here thinking of a snappy comeback for Sal's car auction, and all of a sudden I'm holding an autograph. Barry K pulled the auto. Not too shabby.
Yeah. Jonathan H. Terry pulled the Pete Alonzo missing nameplate auto. And he also got the relic. Barry K, congratulations. Finish out your stack. Kevin Maiton. Batting leaders, Ruiz Valoria and Dickerson. And Luis Alexander Basabe. Yeah, that was just your first pack, too. Yep. Binghamton Rumble Ponies. Yeah, <laughs> Jonathan H., that's true. I feel bad for him. I, I feel I don't I don't have the heart to watch another Hunt for Akuna uh, video on his channel. I, I think he's opened a ton of stuff and just it, it's been eluding him. Nice. Barry K with the puns. Dylan Cousins, Corey Ray, Bobby Dahlbeck, any Acuna, Craig, any Acuna, Kyle Lewis, Matt Thais, Shed Long. Yeah, he's just striking out. Thomas Nito and Mabry's Valoria. Yeah, it's it's pretty heartbreaking. <laughs> And you could just, you can like hear it in his voice too. And it's just like, damn, man, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. That pack was not neato. Barry is on fire right now. Nice. 18 Chronicles Acuna. I don't think I've really even seen much of 18 Chronicles. I have 17 Chronicles um, that I'm putting in Patreon packages. Um, and 19 Chronicles, but I haven't seen much 18. Harrison Bader, Luis Ortiz. Oh, Barry K getting the Pete Alonzo. I could sign it for you, but it wouldn't be the same. But hey, you got an auto and you got a Pete Alonzo base. Not a bad night for Barry K. Yeah, we, I do kind of feel like we, we should maybe try to work out some kind of system. We, I mean, we share so many of the, the same community members. Logan Shore, Kybert Ruiz, Jazz Chisholm, and Dalton Jeffries. You're going on at nine, right, Jonathan H.? Uh, cool seeing it. Yeah, I don't really... I don't really know where that became like, like a thing. Um, what did I miss? That Bader? Who are you talking to? Trade happening. Okay. If somebody can lay that out in like plain English for me or um, contact me. Okay. Tiger Eagle, uh, you're trading this this right here. Um, I need like a better system of doing this because when I was trying to package up your stuff, um, it took me a really long time because I was like having to hunt through different people's stuff. That's just wrong. Okay, so... Cards for days. Is this a trade that I am handling or are you going to trade with him when you get it? It is. But the, the only reason why I was bringing it up is because uh, Tiger Eagles uh, doesn't currently have anything here. No. At least not that I know of. Uh, Tiger Eagles can answer that. Look at Barry K with the hard sale. Talk twist in his arm. Your cut's coming, by the way, Barry K. Appreciate it.
Okay, so we've got a baiter. We want to get it to Tiger Eagle. I don't have anything currently going to Tiger Eagle, but we could just table that discussion for now. Sound good? And that way we can keep on breaking. Um, I did have uh, Scott Kingery, Tyler Bede, Jorge Ona, Brendan Rogers. Ooh, Bo Bichette. These cards are super thick. It's kind of hard to get them into some of these sleeves. Andy Yerzy, Cody Sedlock, and Kristen Pache. Jonathan H., um, you've got a bunch of stuff coming from me. I don't know if you're going to open it on your channel or not, but uh, I do kind of want to see, see your reaction to something I slipped in there. Four Akun Oh, did you open all those things? Barry, Barry hit the mother load. And all those cards came out perfectly from that package I showed you. Oh, that's wrong. Ryan Mountcastle. So you waited to make a comment like that till after you got the auto so the karma gods wouldn't get you. Kyle Funkhauser. Jemai Jones. What do we got here? Alec Henson, Canapolis Intimidators. I think he's making a mean face there. Schultz, Justin Dunn, and Mitchell White. That was that was just the craziest stack that I've seen. Okay, Barry K's last pack. All right. That's what you get right there for making a joke at Terry's expense. Ryan O'Hearn. See, Barry, it just it doesn't pay. Doesn't pay, Barry. Andrew Kalika, PJ Conlon, you got the base and the auto. Glaber Torres. Very nice. Got the Glaber Torres base. It's a nice one for the collection. Bobby Bradley from the Akron Rubber Ducks. Brian Reynolds, Anthony Greer, and Josh Staumont. Barry Kay pulled the auto, got some sweet base cards, made a joke. And then got a Ryan O'Hearn. That's 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 the way the cookie crumbles. James hasn't said anything mean all night. Maybe James will get the case hit card out of 15. That would be pretty sweet. I think Tom got it last time. So, Tom, when you get that one card and it's gold... Uh, out of 15, that is a case hit. I actually wrote a little note um, on a sticky note and put it there for you so you would know. No, James is just a nice guy. All right. Do what you got to do, bud. We will still be here. Most likely, just like the Bieber scenario. Austin Meadows, Brent Honeywell, Nick Senzel. Nice card there from the Tortugas. I think Nick Senzel is going to be an update. Probably going to be one of the cards that drives update. TJ Friedel, uh, single. RBI leaders, Cousins, Jensen, and Reese Hoskins. It's nice. Strikeout leaders, Schultz, Stalmont, and Woodruff. Hey, Brandon Woodruff, so that's nice. 
And Rowdy Tellers, the Buffalo Bisons. Well, you don't need to hunt too far if you want to break some on the channel. I plan on getting a, a bunch of it. What is Gourmade's email? Uh, it is TV at gmail.com. And Cool Cena, thank you. All right, Cool Cena. Um, hey, Cool Cena, um, I have your, your um, trade mail near me. Um, do you want me to wait until a time where you can be on the channel, or do you want me to open it tonight and then you can watch the replay? And thank you, Sal, for throwing the email in there. Just got, keep an eye on keep an eye on Patreon, and I'll post. Uh, okay. I'll post when I have more information about update. Walker Bueller. Poor guy last night. I don't know if you guys saw Walker Bueller's interview after the game, but dude just lost his aunt, and then that game was pretty, pretty brutal. Trent Clark. Hey, Jonathan H. Had to step away. He misses another Colby Allard. Oh, we got the Ronald Acuna. Very nice. Nice card, James. Yeah, it just, man, Kershaw came in and just kind of it the bed. I don't want to get, I don't want to get, you know, YouTube slapped, but oh, it was brutal. Jordan Sheffield, Freddie Peralta, Desmond Lindsay, and current brewer, Brandon Woodruff. Yeah, that was Tom. I can only imagine what you were feeling as you watched that happen because that was a big time. Oh, Jonathan H misses another of his favorites, Ozzy Albies. God, there's Raphael Devers right behind him. How many good cards are in this? I almost feel like I'm not going to try to sell the other boxes and open them for myself. Devers, Gillespie. We got a missing nameplate. So there's an SP. Noni Williams, missing name. James is definitely making up for not having one of the hits in here. Alex Spees, Ramon Laureano. I'm going to put this one in a sleeve. This set is crazy. I try to tell you guys about the names that were in here. Tuki Toussaint. Will Smith. All of these names are like, man, this whole product is stacked. Hey, I think that all of us are going to be thinking about that Alonzo when we go to bed tonight. Only one of us is going to have it underneath his pillow. Sorry, honey. Max Freed. Ryan McMahon. Trevor Clifton, Zach Collins, Down Eastwood Ducks, dude. I wonder if he abides. Innings pitched, French, Volstad, Vasquez, Angel, Perdo Angel Perdomo, and Bryson Brigman. Yes, I did, Tom. Uh, what? What's going on? Let me catch up. Ace, Acuna for Terry's, Alonzo, straight up. Okay, James Gore. Yes, I sent it out. Yes, it was a good call. This probably is amazing. I didn't pack it. I just bought it. Uh, great package, quick. The dude does abide. Put the Soto in Tom's stack. Soto, Tom's stack, done. If there's something else I'm doing, let me know. Tom, I'm. Did you already? Did you already decide what you're trading? Because if you haven't, I'm sure Terry wouldn't mind. You know, watching you open more stuff. 
and then maybe you'll come across something that he wants, a Bregman or something like that. Colton Walker, Kyle Zimmer. Uh, what kind of Jordan? Oh, the minor league Jordan. Jason Groom, Rafi Devers, Tatis Jr. Look at James go. James is getting like every single big name base card that you can get. Josh Okame, Oscar De La Cruz, TJ Zouche. Tiger, you're supporting me by just being here. This is this is fan driven, more so than money driven. So like if you <laughs> just look at the prices I'm selling stuff for, like this is <laughs> definitely definitely more about the community than anything. Fernando Romero. Greg H, are you serious? Cal Quantrill, Bobby Bradley, Anderson Tejeda, Fly Out, Zach Birdie, Tyler Batamo, and Nick Neidert. Greg H., are you serious? What is Topps thinking? Is, is the, the class coming up super weak and they're holding back Jordan? For next year, that's crazy talk. So that means the only Jordan cards, and and somebody somebody please correct me if I'm missing one. Obviously, as the channel host, like these are things that I should know and need to know. So okay, so for Jordan cards this year, you have Heritage Minor League, and you have um, Bowman like the packs that I'm putting in your guys' Patreon. Okay, so both of the Bowman products, Platinum and then the, the Bowman that I'm putting in there. Well, I mean, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what's going to happen to the, the price of those cards when... They're the only ones you can buy, uh, get your Dawn in. Do you guys like, I, I hadn't listed the, the Bowman packs on packs with friends. Um, I was just using them as kind of like a Patreon uh, exclusive uh, for packages. But if you guys want more of them, you just got to tell me. I was also thinking about um, that the amount of time that it took me to get all the Patreon stuff together. Uh, it was it was it was overwhelming because um, you know I'm trying to put all these things in there, and I was I was wondering, you know, my first thought was what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get these get the packs, have them in a bundle, and then as Patreon grows, they're already ready to go. But like I would specifically put a pack in for a person because I knew there was something in there that person wanted and that took a really long time. And then I was thinking like, well, if there's a demand for having say over what you put in the Patreon pack, um, then is that like a thing? All right, Terry, take it easy. Kevin is here. Kevin, I sent you a message today. Uh, Tiger Eagles card collecting. Uh, yeah, people have done that where they've done like a pre-recorded break and then they'll air it and then they'll like live chat as it's happening. So I'll tell you what, guys, hold hold tight for two seconds, literally. Okay. Yeah, I can't believe they're they're not putting them in an update. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm going to open this. Um, you guys saw Cool Cena uh, come and go. Um, cool Cena has been, um, he was like one of the first subscribers to the channel. 
Uh, cool Cena just turned, um, he just turned 11 years old and he got, he got his name up on the, um, the big screen at Yankee stadium, which I just felt like was just awesome. Um, anyway, he seems like just a great kid and, um, he wanted to trade. And so I got him a Luke Voigt auto. And so he sent me these and this was, this is an on air, uh, donation. Oh, actually not a donation. Sorry. It's a trade. As I just said, dear gourmet, thank you so much for accepting this trade. Love the channel. Keep up the good work. Love cool Cena. Good luck. Almost at a, almost at a quarter to 1000 subs. Yeah, Sal, he, he, he's a big Yankees fan, um, so I was able to pick him up a, um, what do I want to say? It's not tier one, um, five star, uh, a nice five star uh, Luke Voigt on card auto. And so he sent me these and they kind of got lost in the mail for a little bit. So it's a, a Dan Heron auto, which is a cool card. And then uh, a Matt Chapman Diamond Kings. He knows I'm a Matt Chapman fan. And uh, the red ones that come out of the uh, mega boxes. Uh, a Matt Olson. And um, another Matt Chapman. Oops, there's one stuck. That Ramon Laureano. Yeah, so, um, like I said, man, the kid's 11 years old, never comes in and asks for free anything. Um, and he's been with the channel since day one. So I definitely try to hook him up when I can. Um, so cool, Cena. Thank you very much. Um, keep being you, man. Um, there's a lot of a lot of young people that could, uh, you know, learn a lesson from the way he conducts himself. So thank you. And your your Luke Voigt and bonuses um, are on their way. Yeah, he's a, he's a good kid. He doesn't he doesn't have like a channel or anything. Or I, I'd ask you guys to go sub him. Um, yeah, so it's definitely. I mean, the, the stuff is so expensive, you know, that I don't really see how a kid um, could maintain collecting, at least not, you know, like stuff like this, right? Like, this is like a, a legit purchase. Um, yeah, the kid comes in and asks for stuff, doesn't doesn't ever listen, doesn't ever stop, then signs on another account. And it's like, come on, kid, get get with it. So you guys kind of saw what was in here. Um, as you can see, still got two boxes left, but I have, I have a bunch of other stuff. Um, if there's anything else that interested anybody for the night, um, I would be on board. If not, you know, there's, there's plenty of nights in the week and there's always tomorrow and the next day and the next day. Uh, I don't want to drag this, video out forever uh just for the sake of having a long video <clears throat> for those of you that weren't here in the beginning um i'm just going to go over this again so for everyone that buys in to um, national treasures it's 69.99 which i know it sounds like a lot for a card but when you compare it to what other channels were charging it's it's a lot cheaper the bonus card will be um, given away to one of the eight people for the for the three or four people who wind up not getting an auto. Those people will be put into a giveaway for this Kyle Tucker six pack relic auto out of ninety nine. 
88 out of 99. So <clears throat> it, it, you know, it's, it's kind of been, it is what it is, right? Like the product is what it is and it costs what it costs. Um, all I can do is try to offer more than the next guy. And I think that's what I'm doing. Clearly authentic. I have a case. It is on the way. $58.99. If you want to buy more than one, um, I would be willing to give you a deal on the subsequent cards. Yeah, so you definitely have uh, big, big opening plans in your future. Um, well, uh, Tiger Eagles card collecting. No, I just traded with an 11 year old. So um, my one rule when it comes to trading is I have to receive the card before I send out the card. Um, and and as Jonathan H kind of made a video about, you know, um, it's all about what the person has to lose by not honoring the trade. And I obviously have my channel to be concerned with. And, you know, you could just change your screen name and boom, you solved that problem. So I would definitely be open to trading with you. Um, and you can always email me and we can talk about it. Uh, one or more of Clearly Authentic. Jonathan H, I think that's what we're referring to. Um, 20. <clears throat> yeah, for under 18, uh, Jonathan H, that's a good call. Yeah, I didn't mention that because when I first um, sent something to Cool Cena, he did get uh, parent permission. I did neglect to just restate that, though, so thank you. Okay, <clears throat> so stay tuned. Um, keep keep your eye on posts, and I'll let you know when the uh, clearly authentic gets here. I would like to do it all at one time, um, but since they are individual boxes, you know, if I get twenty of them in and sixteen people buy, um, I don't mind just doing the the sixteen. Um, there's eight in here that we would need. When you get the email about sending the beta, could you just say something about trading too lazy to send the other email? Okay. Sure. Can okay, see if I missed anything. Okay, so some of you guys, some of you guys, we, you and I, will we email back and forth, or you know, we talk outside of the channel. Um, this would definitely be something where I would ask that you post in um, the Patreon posts, just so that everyone else can kind of see what's happening, um, especially like with this, because you know, there's only eight slots. Um, do you guys want me to post? a list of potential breaks so you guys can tell me if something interests you. There might be something that I have that, you know, I just haven't really promoted it. Um, I've been so busy building inventory that I haven't been making um, videos about it. And I also feel like I need to come up with some sort of a way to give Patreon the upper hand on things, um, but then within reason, uh, make it available, like post a video on YouTube and kind of make it available to the public. Uh, big S collector. I just rambled a bunch of stuff. Which part? The list part would be cool. Okay. I'll tell you right now and I'll make an official list and I'll post it on Patreon. Okay, two boxes of Chronicles Hobby, two boxes of Bowman Sterling, 
And both of those can be divided up. Bowman Sterling, it's the five mini boxes and they each have an auto. So there's no real risk that you get the wrong one. You know what I mean? Like it, they're all gonna have autos in it. I also bought a couple of other autos that I'm thinking about doing a, a giveaway within the break. I just kind of like the idea of doing like one more thing than the next guy. It'll most likely be cheaper than the next guy and it'll be uh, they'll have a bonus like this Kyle Tucker. I don't think anybody else is doing anything like that except for here because I feel like I just I like hanging out and you guys you guys are, are great and very supportive. So I want to be able to give back anyway. Two boxes of Sterling, two boxes of Chronicles, one box of Heritage High Number, one more box of Heritage Minor League. Two more boxes of 17 minor league. And we all saw the Alonzo. Um, and there's still all those other big names in there to pull an auto from. Um, Tops Fire could be more of a, a budget-minded break by the stack. Um, five boxes of 19 Bowman Chrome. One box of um, Bowman HTA. And I already made a comment with HTA that everyone, so there's going to be three people buying into HTA. Every single person is also going to get a fat pack of 2018 update, which if you've seen eBay, you know what those are selling for. So, you know, if you want to work that into the price and it's 70 bucks per card. And that's again, that's what cheaper than the big guys were selling it for. Um, but with me, you also get a 2018 update fat pack. Um, oh, and one box of 2019 um, Donruss Optic, and there's a one in three chance that it's an autograph hot box uh, because the guy at my LCS said it hasn't it hasn't been um, the second auto hot box hadn't been pulled yet, and he only had three boxes, and I got one of them. Can't really, you know charge based on the, the hope of that, but it is a reality that you can get a, an auto hot box. So that's kind of what I have. Hey man, I try you guys, you guys are good to me. Um, I, I, I trust and hope that you guys are, you know, trying to get the, the word out there. Um, anyone who's getting their Patreon packages, you know, I, I definitely, put thought and effort. I tried to make sure you at least got a few cards of your star player, um, real cards, undamaged cards, uh, you know, um, of your team and, uh, decent packs, not, not 91 Fleer rated worst pack ever or worst product ever. <clears throat> oh, packs. Oh, okay. Tom. Thank you so much for reminding me. Packs with friends this week. That's that's a, a definite that's going to happen um, Saturday evening at the same time, starting at five. Now, for you East Coasters, I get it, right? Like that's it's already eight o'clock when we get started. Some of these streams, they, they last a super long time. So if you know you need to go early, um, Tom, you contacted me earlier this week, so you have the first slot. Um, if you guys can kind of contact me and, and get your name in, then you can kind of secure your place in the list. And it it, it is what it is, right? Like a, a victim, a victim of its own success, right? Like it's so much damn fun um, that you know it takes a long time. Um, I'm not going to turn into one of these other channels where they just like flip through the card super fast and, oh, you didn't get an autograph. You didn't need to look at anything else and I'll be done with every pack in 10 seconds. I couldn't talk to you. It would suck. It would just be pure money uh, and that's not cool. But what I do think about doing is maybe Sunday um, in the a.m., I could allow people to also buy packs. So if you couldn't hang around, or it was too late and past your bedtime, um, maybe Sunday in the a.m. you could have another chance. If you guys want to do like a Saturday a.m. instead of a Sunday a.m., whatever you want to do. And Big S Collector, I, I, you know, I say that I appreciate it, and it's like it's all just words. I don't, I don't know how else to show you 
It's why I like try to hook you guys up with extra stuff whenever you buy in. I really, 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 really do appreciate it. Um, so the more like even little comments you can make, like, hey, do you see what we pulled on, you know, Gourmet's channel? Anything like that that you're doing, I appreciate the hell out of it. Um, thank you so much. You know, um, it's it's a ton of work. You know, Jonathan H runs a channel, you know, and it's it is a lot of work uh, to to do this. I, I had to take two days off of work and I already had the Monday off and I was working around the clock. Yesterday I was working around the clock, but I didn't know what time it was because we had no power. But it's a ton of work. So I don't get to go in and watch as many other people's videos as I used to because I'm over here sorting through cards, putting together packages for you, shopping for deals to get you guys awesome packs so it's not just crap. Um, and I, I just, I quite frankly, I do not have time to also go on to Discord and promote the channel that way. So if you guys can get the word out, like I said, man, I... I I appreciate it. And you ever need something from me, um, just say the word. Um, yes, Kevin Tan, there is going to be an auction this week. Um, that was another thing I spent today doing. I was down at the post office, Kevin, uh, trying to figure out um, how to ship to Canada in, in a cost effective way. Um, and Kevin, I sent you a message. I don't know if you saw it yet. Maybe you did. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you posted back to me and I haven't seen it yet. Um, Kevin, I, I, I want nothing more than, you know, you've been here since, you know, very early and, you know, you're always in here supporting the channel posting. And I think you enjoy what we're doing and I want you to be able to be a part of it. Um, from what I heard from the post office today, for me to just send you the, the 1599 tier, it would cost me like 11 bucks or more. Um, which obviously isn't really feasible. So I was going to talk to you. It, I Obviously, you know, this is probably a problem you've dealt with before. Is there a way you typically, you know, do things? Do you, do you try to build up something and then flat rate it? Um, so, you know, you're not, you're not getting killed in uh, shipping. Um, but you've probably dealt with this more than I have. Um, but I'm, I'm 100% open to, to making it work, Kevin and big ass collector. Thank you so much. You know, um, obviously, you know, the, the reasoning for having the extra time sucks, but I don't need to tell you that. Um, but man, I, I can't thank you enough. Um, would you guys, okay. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah. I don't want to, you know, bore everyone with, you know, details like that. Um, would it be worth it to people to be able to, um, I guess, tailor their Patreon packs? You know, like you see what the packs cost because it's i mean obviously it's the same pack that i'm selling during packs with friends versus what i sell in um what am i trying to say that i'm packing patreon with like it's not i don't have like two separate stacks you know it's the same stuff um if you had control over it and you were like hey i want 10 of these and 10 of those um that's it's definitely it would be a lot more work and there would of course be like a, a price difference, but for some people it would be worth it to you. I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Terry's back. That was a fast meal. Um, things like that, man. Like if the more you guys tell me what I can do to make you guys happier, um, I'll do it. I was also thinking about putting together like a mega, pack of like one of every single thing that i have i don't know what it would wind up costing um but imagine if you could buy one pack and it had one pack one pack of every single product that i have um it could have a 2019 bowman chrome pack in it it could have a bowman sterling mini box it could have a hobby pack of chronicles 
it, you know, I can only make, I think I can only make 10 total because of that's how much Sterling and Chronicles I have. But in one shot, you could get just like a whole box of awesome. I'm, I'm totally up for like whatever. If you guys come like Sal has like a crazy idea and I love it. And um, if that's what interests you guys, um, I'm I'm game. Uh, uh, like I said, I'm only here for you. Right. Like if you're enjoying it and I can do something you enjoy, um, I'm game to try it. Yeah, James, like I said, like it would be it would be something that I'd probably have to pre-sell um, because once you uh, I'll, I'll clarify here in just a second, Terry, um, it's something I'd probably have to pre-sell because the Bowman Sterling, the five boxes are essentially equal. There is no hit and then not a hit. They all have an autograph. The Chronicles, though, there are non auto patch packs. And I can't, in good conscience, sell one that I know doesn't have a thing in it. Um, that would just be kind of grimy. But anyway, so Terry, what I was saying was, if somebody saw all the stuff I had to offer, and they were like, I want one of everything. And you could get like the, the I wouldn't even call it a boom box at this point, because it's so far past that, that, you know, I, I've not seen anyone do it. I could put packs of, uh, I don't want to offer them up, but I could even put packs of 89 upper deck in there. Um, all kinds of stuff. Again, you guys let me know. Uh, it, it could probably be close to 100 if it didn't have the Bowman Sterling uh, box in it. Because those alone, I think they go for like 50. But that's an actual pack. You know what I mean? There's like six cards in there. It's not a single card. Anyway, you guys chat with me. Uh, post on Patreon. Get your friends to join. Get your mom to join. You know, uh, start an account in your kid's name. What are, pet's name. I don't even care. Whatever you got to do um get more people on patreon uh and i'll keep turning out cool stuff and uh new ideas lots of stuff to break keep your eyes open i'll post a list of what i have and i'll post the price of what the break would cost i need you guys to comment in the post i don't know what the heck happened with the clearly authentic post um it, it was on there and everything um so Oh, dude, that would be crazy. Look at you with the good karma. The bug has hit Terry. The good karma bug has taken effect on Terry because Terry got this. And a one of one. Anyway, I'll post. You guys comment. You tell me what you want. You can pretty much see it in real time if something if something fills up or not or gets close. Um, and that's that. Oliver, you're getting this Kirillov in the next thing that goes out to you, Oliver. I don't want to like, I don't want to make assumptions, but Oliver, generally you buy into packs with friends. Oh, and by the way, I got 91 Bowman in. Um, I got more 89 Fleer in. Um, I kind of explained pricing with those. Um, I think I can do the one dollar per pack thing. I just cannot do the three dollar um the three pack for two dollar thing because you know there's price differences every time you try to buy old wax. Um, but anyway, I have it. Okay, so more eighty nine Fleer is in, and we still gotta bust this box at ninety five top series one. Um, I think I'm gonna do fifteen bucks um, fifteen bucks a stack. Hey, yes, Blondebeard. God bless. Thank you. Did that get you at all? That was yesterday was a disaster. Uh, just a complete disaster. <clears throat> Anywho. Well, Blondebeard, um, 
I don't know if you've been kind of lurking in the background or if you literally just got in the room, but we are wrapping up. But I just wanted to show you what Terry Dakota pulled. Um, missing nameplate. Notice it doesn't say uh, Peter. Missing nameplate. Pete Alonzo Auto out of 17 Heritage Minor League. Still got two boxes to go. Somebody else. <laughs> Shalini. Somebody else will uh, will see that, and maybe we'll sell these other two boxes on a different day. Yep, James, you had you had dibs on it. James, um, can you remind me which which stack did you want? Because you had dibs. Bottom right. Okay. So in the next day or so, guys, I'm going to start just spamming Patreon um, with posts of potential breaks, current breaks, coming up breaks, new products for uh, Packs with Friends, all kinds of stuff. Um, if I don't get on here tomorrow for something, um, Saturday is the day. The... Uh, Price lists, um, for the most part, will stay exactly the same with the addition of the 89 Fleer and the 91 Bowman getting added. So keep your eyes on that. Um, but for the most part, everything is going to stay exactly the same. And uh, yeah, keep your comments coming in. Let me know where we stand on National Treasures. Somebody's going to get this Kyle Tucker six-pack um, booklet auto. And uh, also remember to post and tell me about the um, Packs with Friends uh, round two right after we do Barry Kay's, the star of this Sunday's auction. Are we doing the auction at the same time? Last time I think we did it at 7 p.m. Eastern. Does 7 p.m. Eastern on Sunday still work for everyone? I'm just going to let the first person who answers speaks for the whole group. 7 p.m. on Sunday. Kevin is in. 7 p.m. Terry's in. 7 p.m. Uh, Barry K. posted a list. Tons of cool cards. A crazy, ridiculous starting bid prices. A lot of $1 starting bid prices. Can be fun. Um, I might come in at the end with a, a few surprise cards. No. Uh, 7 Eastern, so 4 o'clock my time. I don't know what we're saying yes to, but I love the enthusiasm. All caps. Big S is in. Roger. This is going to be a good weekend, guys. Um, all kinds of great stuff. Still got mega boxes for those of you who got to scratch that mega box itch. Um, yep. Oh, and by the way, um, I did not forget about these, okay, for our minor league uh, box folks. Um, you still have a giveaway coming. So, Tom, I think you bought into all three boxes, so you, you have a name in each of them. I'm just going to take one, divide it by the three people who bought into box one, box two, box three, and we'll do a giveaway that way. <clears throat> yeah, too much to talk about. Too much for one video. Everything is awesome. Let me know when your Patreon packages get there. Uh, um, let me know what you think. And I hope that you are pleased. Um, just know that I did spend a ton of time and thought on them. And I tried to give you what I would have been happy with getting. You know what, Big S Collector? I totally agree. Uh, I think that this is going to be kind of the hallmark of this channel. That it, it is definitely community-minded. And, you know, it doesn't it doesn't hurt that most of the stuff is cheaper on my channel than on other channels. Um, kind of makes you go, hmm. Yeah, well, we we have a great group, right? Because I'm not doing this by myself, Oliver. Um, you guys, you guys are really what's driving this channel. Um, 
you guys, your generosity, uh, the just kind of the way that the way that everybody conducts themselves is really what motivates me to keep making this better. I mean, if you guys were all a bunch of dill holes, you know, I would just send you crap. I'd just go buy a box of 91 Fleer and I'd just give you all three packs of it. And uh, maybe I send it out to you once every four months. <clears throat> Tom, I have a blast. Uh, I, I really do. Um, and that wouldn't be possible without you guys. So anyway, I, this could go on forever. Stay tuned for everything. All sorts of amazing stuff happen. Please buy into this. I want to open this so badly because it's going to be so cool. Um, and I want to give somebody this Kyle Tucker uh, because it's real pretty and it's a book. Did you see it's a book? It opens. Yeah, I wasn't going to go there, but that, yep, yeah, that, 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 what he said. All right, everyone. Oh, well, you know what? Uh, facts are facts. So that's the thing. 7 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, Big S Collector. If you want to join us earlier, you know, we start at, what do we start? At 8 o'clock Eastern for Packs with Friends, 5 o'clock my time. I think that's right. And I'll eat five pounds of gum and get delirious and everything will be awesome. And always remember this with Packs with Friends. The sooner that you buy in and I know what you like, the more stuff I can have on hand to slip into your purchases and that's fun for me all right are you trying to are you trying to deprive me of having fun by not getting your name in early because if you don't get your name in early i don't know what to have near me within hand for sleight of hand magic did you even see it did you even see that happen a freaking magician it's amazing you know what else is amazing this piece this goes to a piece of furniture from Ikea and it's left over. This whole house could fall down. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? Here. Put it in a sleeve just in case. Send it to Terry. Good luck. All right, guys. Enough child's play. I'm leaving. Have a good night, everyone. Keep your eyes on Patreon and more cool crap coming. All right. Take it easy. Have a good night. Later. Yes, house.